to a Brooklyn Junction modeling tutorial. In this video we'll be showing you how we made our own DIY track setter type gauges for measuring the radius on flexi track curves. So the idea with this is to create a one-to-one -one scale protractor of the curve radius that you would like to make the gauge for and use this to scribe out the line on uh, in our case a piece of foam coal board which was then cut to size using uh, an extendable Stanley knife type blade. So as you can see here we are drilling a hole, a clearance hole in the top piece followed by a pilot hole in the bottom which has then got a self-tapping wood screw fired through the gap there making sure not to tighten down the head of the screw so as to allow the top piece to move freely such as this so the next thing that we did was uh, we stapled a extendable one of those uh, snap off the box cutter type blades to the end with just the smallest portion of the blade sticking out at the end to actually score the piece of foam core. And the way that we then made this into a variable radius was to just have two pieces of wood measure from the pivot point which is the screw at the other end up to the end where the blade is and then you just move the two pieces of wood up and down to the desired radius. So you can see here we're just clamping the two pieces of wood together, doing them, attaching them together by clamps made it much easier to a keep the level between the two pieces of wood and B by the time that we came to create a new radius it was much easier to move them up and down which we'll see later on. And you can see how the piece of wood moves freely from left to right with the blade on the end. This is the, the piece of foam core board that we used as our raw material. Uh, pin down the four corners, stop it from moving. Uh, we found this to be the best way of doing it rather than trying to use clamps which would compress the board and then uh, it would lose some of its structural integrity. And here is the first pass, that's the I believe 10 foot radius we went for. So once you've scored many many times until you get through the foam core, through both the pieces of paper and the foam, you then, uh, we chose to go for two inch increments. So you measure two inches up from your, your zero point, move the piece of wood with the blade on it up to the next marker and that will give you a, a radius two inches less than the 10 foot so this next one will be uh, 9 foot 10. You'll have to forgive me for working entirely in imperial measurements because I have no interest in <laughs> uh, trying to convert them into millimeters but there you go you see how easy that is to uh, move it down to a smaller radius. There's the marker there. the next pass, just give the second score and by the time it's cut through we'll complete the first gauge. The uh, advantage to doing it this way is that we ended up with two radius uh, measurements out of one gauge so the outermost line, so the first one that we drew would be the 10 foot line and then if you use the inside of that it's uh, two inches less, so each gauge will give you two separate radiuses. And there we 
we go. So there is the first radius gauge. As you can see, we label them up so we know which is which. Uh, 10 foot, 120 inch on the outside, 118 inches on the inside. And we'll just repeat the process until we get, well, either we run out of board, which is what happens, or uh, you have finished all the separate radii that you need for your layout. Uh, we started with a 10 foot radius on ours because we intend to build a probably about 8 foot long station with a very slight curve on it to add some interest and we thought it would be a bit more interesting to look at than just having a big long straight station. So being as we didn't actually know for definite what radius we wanted the station track to be placed at, we uh, gave ourselves as many options as we could possibly manage with the amount of material that we had so that we could play basically. We'll uh, get the gauges out, get some flexi track, lay it out, measure it up to the gauge and see what we like the look of. And then when uh, when we settled on a design then we'll pin it down and uh, I will have to design and build the station platform to match up to the radius of the track. So aside from the obvious cost involved in going out and purchasing the actual Pico track setters, we can have a lot more different radius options available to us, uh, kind of limited to only the size of compass that you can build really. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be uh, putting a radius on the station platform and the four tracks running through the middle so we thought we'd just uh, quickly show you how we plan to use the gauges here obviously the Pico ones are designed to fit inside between the rails but these are clearly far too wide so you place a gauge on the board where you want the track to be but the side of the sleeper is up against the gauge pin that about the track down and then move on to the next piece we still need to work out how we're going to uh, rebuild these platforms or just completely design new ones. So thank you for watching, hopefully some of you will find this useful and we will see you in the next video.